Hi, I'm Krista. Welcome to yoga. Please remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also go to my website kpoweryoga.com and sign up for my newsletter. We'll begin seated today. We'll be doing a half a practice. If you find that sitting in this position is not very comfortable for your back or if you look at your knees and your knees are higher than your hips, I recommend having something available to sit on. So a thinner yoga block or you can just take a folded blanket or a folded towel just something to lift your pelvis, lift your hips a little bit and tilt your pelvis forward so your back can be properly aligned. So when you're sitting, if you have a rear tilt to your pelvis or if the knees are higher than your hips, you're going to be sitting in this type of position. That means you start to lose the lumbar curves. Your lower back starts to round out a little bit or starts to flatten rather than having this nice curve to it. And then the rest of the, your spine won't be properly aligned. You won't have those natural curves of the spine. So it's not comfortable for your back and when you're not properly aligned in your posture, it's a little bit harder to breathe, the energy can't flow as well, and then the internal organs won't be properly supported either. So having proper posture, sitting up tall is really actually quite important. So if you can't sit up tall without a prop, please go ahead and use a prop. So a thinner block, a folded towel, or a folded blanket. Always a good idea to have something nearby for your yoga practice. So sitting tall with or without a prop, close your eyes, just begin to become aware of your breath. No need to change it in any way, just notice the flow of your breath, notice how it feels. Now as you inhale, think breathing in. As you exhale, think breathing out. Inhale, breathing in. Exhale, breathing out. Continue this a few more rounds. Very simple, mindful breathing technique. Bringing a little more awareness to the breath. So inhale, thinking, breathing in. Exhale, think, breathing out. And let that go after your next exhale. Turn your palms up and bring your thumbs and index fingers to touch. Keep your eyes closed for a moment. So we'll work with a breathing technique. We do this one three times. The first one is respect for yourself. Second one, respect for others. And the third one is respect for the universal energy that unites us all, connects us all. So again, the first one for yourself. On your inhale, you can open your eyes, hands go out to the sides, keep the mudra. Exhale, come forward, right wrist on top, cross your hands behind your back. Inhale, come up, hands go out to the sides. Exhale, backs of hands to the knees, chin to chest. Second one for others. Inhale, hands out to the sides. Exhale, right wrist on top, come forward. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, backs of hands to knees, chin to chest. Last one for the universal energy that connects us all. Inhale. Exhale, right wrist on top. Inhale, hands out to the sides. Exhale, backs of hands to the knees. Close your eyes for a moment. Keep the mudra, just take a couple of breaths.
Release your mudra, just wiggle your hand, wiggle your, wiggle your fingers. Turn your hands down for a moment. Switch your legs. If you need to straighten them for a moment, that's fine. So we'll work with a three-part, not a three-part breath, but a three-part movement with the breath. We'll start with inhale, exhale, inhale, and then exhale to release. And then we'll move into a three-part inhale, which is a little bit more energizing. But that'll be optional. If you'd rather stay with the inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, that's perfectly fine. So on your next breath, inhale, arms out in front. Exhale, open. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lower the arms. Out in front, inhale. Exhale, open. Reach up, inhale. Exhale, release. Inhale. Exhale, reach up, inhale, exhale. Again, inhale, exhale, open, reach up, inhale, exhale, down. One more like that, inhale in front, exhale, open, reach up, inhale, exhale, down. And now we'll, I'll give you the option to work with inhale, 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 Exhale. So it's a three-part inhale, an interrupted breath. So an inhale, pause, inhale, pause, inhale, pause, and then exhale. If you can't get to those three parts with the inhale, you can just go back to inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So you can slow it down a little bit there if you need to. So I'll cue the interrupted breathing, the inhale, 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 exhale, but be sure to go back to the other technique if that feels more appropriate for you. So when you're ready, inhale, 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 exhale. Inhale, 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 exhale. Keep going a few more. One more time. Release, hands to the knees, close your eyes for a moment. Do mudra breath three more times, this time crossing the left wrist on top as we come forward. Turn your palms up, thumbs and index fingers touch. First one is respect for yourself. Inhale, exhale, left wrist on top. Inhale, coming up, exhale. This one is for others. Inhale, left wrist top, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Last one for the universal energy that we all share. Inhale, exhale, left wrist top. Inhale, exhale. Pause for a moment, eyes closed. Still holding the mudra. Release the mudra, just wiggle your fingers gently, palms face down, take a couple of breaths. And then extend your legs out in front. And take your legs a little bit wider, so shoulder distance, or you can even take the mat distance if that feels a bit better for you. Interlace your hands and reach your arms out in front. So as we do this, your elbows will stay straight. And we'll be doing a circular motion, but keeping the elbows straight. So it's called turning the mill or stirring the pot. So imagine that's what you're doing. You're holding onto a giant spoon and you're just stirring the pot. So elbows straight as we do this. We'll do it with the breath. So on your inhale, come forward and right. Exhale back and to the left. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more in this direction. So do the full rotation. Come back up to center. Just pause for a moment. And we'll go the other direction. So inhale forward and left. Exhale back and right. Make it a bit bigger if you can. Inhale. Exhale. 
One more in this direction. Coming back up and release. Bring your legs back in. Cross your right ankle over. Left leg stays straight, right knee is a little bit bent. Take an inhale. Exhale, softly come forward. So just let your back relax, let your back round, let your neck relax. If that bothers your neck to have the head dropped forward, keep the head up if you need to. Now take your hands a little further forward. As you inhale, pull back on your hands, lengthen your spine, exhale, come forward a little bit more actively. So now the chest is lifted, the back is straight. You don't need to go very far, we're still just warming up here. But now think of reaching your chest over your legs so the back is long. So now this is a stretch for the left leg, the back of the left leg, the hamstrings. Walk your hands back and switch sides. Cross the left ankle over, take an inhale, exhale, starting with a rounded fold. Stretch your arms a little further forward so your arms are straight. Inhale, pull back on your hands, lengthen your spine. Exhale, come forward, leading with the chest. Notice the difference between those two stretches. The rounded back will stretch your back. This one will stretch the back of the right leg. your hands back, uncross your legs. Come back to a cross leg position with your right leg in front. Take an inhale. On your exhale, slide your right hand out. Bring your left hand to your hip. Take an inhale. Exhale. Come a little bit further down to the elbow. If possible, you don't have to go down to the elbow. Make sure that you're not lifting the left sit bone. So if you're coming to the elbow but you're lifting, come back up to your hand. And then if you like, inhale the arm up. Exhale over. You can look up if that feels okay, or you can look forward, but it's probably not so great to drop your head down in this particular position. So either forward or turning your gaze up. Come up on an inhale, exhale, release. Take an inhale, lengthen, sit tall. Exhale, slide your right hand, left hand out, bring your right hand to your hip, take an inhale. Exhale, if you can, come a little bit further, but again, watch the sit bone. Make sure both sit bones stay down. Option to reach up on an inhale and over on the exhale. Reach up, inhale, exhale, release. Switch your legs. So if you had your elbow down on the floor comfortably and both sit bones stayed down, I'll give you the option to go a little further this time. If you were not in that position with the elbow down and both sit bones down, you'll just go back into the same lateral stretch that we just did. So we'll start the same way. Take an inhale, lengthen, exhale, slide out. And inhale, lengthen a little more. Exhale, if you can, come down to the elbow. So if you're on the elbow, we'll go a little further. Otherwise, you can just take the arm up and over, or you can stay with your hand on your hip. Elbow, if the elbow's down and both sit bones are down, take your left arm up, bend your elbow, try to touch your fingertips, and try to visualize having your elbows in a straight line if you can. So you're trying to push the left elbow back a little bit. Don't go here if you're starting to lift off the left sit bone. It's important that your sit bones stay down. And coming up, inhale, exhale, release, and we'll go the other way. Take an inhale first, lengthen your spine, really important. Slide out on your exhale. So step by step, take an inhale, lengthen a little more. Exhale, if you can, come down to the elbow, and then you're welcome to stay. Or the arm can go up on an inhale and over on the exhale. Or, if you're able to, bend both elbows, touch the fingertips, try to look up at your elbow if possible. Remember, these are just options I'm giving you. 
Please choose the option that works best for your body. And if you can't get all the way down here, another option is to have your prop under your arm. But this version here with the fingertips together, you need to be all the way down with your elbow on the floor to go into this position. And then coming up, inhale, exhale, release, extend your legs, shake it out. So when you have a prop nearby, you can use it at different times during your yoga practice. So if you weren't able to get over, if you found that didn't find that very comfortable for your arm, you can always slide your prop under your arm. All right, extend your legs out in front. Give them a little shake. Sit up tall so your legs are straight. Open up your arms. Inhale. Exhale. Round your back. Arms in front. Inhale. Reach up. Exhale. Hands to the heart. Inhale. Open. Exhale. Round. We'll add on here. Inhale. Reach. Exhale. Reach forward. Reach up. Inhale. Hands to the heart. Exhale. We'll add on again this round. Inhale, open. Round, exhale. Reach up, inhale. Reach forward, exhale. Reach up, inhale. Twisting right on your exhale. Inhale, center, reach up. Hands to the heart, exhale. Open, inhale. Round, exhale. Reach up, inhale. Reach forward, exhale. Reach up, inhale, twisting left, exhale. Inhale, center, exhale, hands to the heart, bend your knees. Wrap your arms around your legs, hold on to a wrist and then hold the other wrist. Pull yourself forward, lift your heart. Come to your hands and knees. Into table pose. On your next inhale, extend your right leg, left arm, and just hold. Try to lift your gaze a little bit so you're not drop, taking your head back, but you're gazing forward rather than at the floor. Inhale, reach a little further. Exhale, take it down. Other side. Inhale, left leg, right arm. Hold and breathe. Inhale, extend, exhale, take it down, switch sides, inhale, extend, hold. Inhale, reach a little further, exhale, take it down, switch sides, inhale, breathe as you hold. Inhale, exhale down. One more on each side. Inhale, right leg, left arm. Inhale, lengthen, exhale. Last one. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, take it down, come back into child's pose for a moment. And come on to your belly. Arms out in front, legs are straight, arms are straight. So we'll do the same thing we just did kneeling, but we'll do it on our belly this time. So next inhale, left arm, right leg. Breathe as you hold. Lift the gaze a little if you can. Exhale down. Left leg, right arm. Inhale. Exhale down, keep your arm and legs straight, switch over, inhale, left arm, right leg. Exhale, switch again. Exhale, 
exhale, one more each side. Exhale, last one. Exhale, release. Hands under your forehead for a moment, relax. Put your arms down by your sides. Inhale, lift up around lower body, hold. Exhale, release. Bend your knees, windshield wiper. Legs to the mat, hands to the mat. Push yourself up to your knees on an inhale. Child's pose on your exhale. Come up a little bit, tuck your toes under. Sit back on your heels. We're just going to work with the ankles and the feet for a moment. Come forward, untuck your toes, sit back. So this can stretch your ankles. Come forward, tuck your toes, sit back. Untuck your toes, sit back. Toes tucked, sit back. We'll stay a little bit longer this time. Remember to modify as needed. This is your practice. If you have issues with your feet or your ankles or these poses just don't feel right for you, that's okay. You don't have to do them. You can just sit and breathe. Come forward, untuck your toes, sit back, and we'll go a little bit further, one side at a time to start with. So you can take your hands back a little bit behind you, lift your right knee if you're able to. So this will stretch the front of the ankle. Not everybody will be able to do this, depending on the structure of your ankle joint. Take the right knee down, lift the left. Left knee down. If you can, do both. It might be enough just sitting like this. If you're able to, lift both. If you feel steady here, take your hands to your heart. Hands back down, knees back down. Come forward, just stay for a moment in table pose. Take your hands about an inch or so forward, tuck your toes under and come into dog. Keep your knees bent for a moment. Press your upper body towards your legs. And start to slowly straighten the legs as much as you can. And you can come to the top of your mat. Take an inhale, lift the heart, exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Take a breath. So we'll do that same breath that we did in the seated position, the three-part uh, inhale. We'll start again with the inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and then I'll give you the option to do it with the interrupted inhale, and also to add a heel lift as well. So we'll start with uh, the feet, heels down, the inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and then we'll take it from there. So make sure you're in Tadasana, feet hip distance apart. On your next inhale, arms out, exhale, open, inhale up, exhale down. Arms front, inhale, exhale, inhale up, exhale down. Again, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Keep going. One more time like this. And 
And just relax for a moment, close your eyes if you like. So back to that same thing if you like, or we'll work with that interrupted or that three part inhale. So inhale, pause, inhale, pause, inhale, pause, exhale. So inhale, pause, inhale, pause, inhale, pause, exhale. If that doesn't work for you, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So we'll start out keeping the feet down or the heels down, and then we'll start to add a heel lift in there if you like. So when you're ready, inhale, 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 exhale. Inhale, 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 exhale. One more like that. Option to lift the heel. So it goes inhale, inhale, on the toes, inhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, on the toes, inhale, exhale. Modify as needed. Keep going a few more. Two more. You can stop sooner if you need to. Close your eyes if you can. If you need your eyes open, that's fine. Take an inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Lift your heart, inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold, step your left foot back. And come up. Take an inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, bend your elbows, palms face forward, and then roll your shoulders back and lift your heart. So you want to feel the opening through the chest and the shoulders here. So we're not just here, we're here. Open it up. Bring your arms in and then take your arms down by your sides. Lift the shoulders, roll them back once again. Turn your palms to face forward. Step onto your right foot. Keep your toes down for a moment, but open up once again. So feel the opening in the chest and the shoulders, and then lift your toes, but try not to tip your body forward. So think of keeping the chest lifted, just lifting the toes just off the floor. Feet together, release your arms, inhale, lift your shoulders, let them drop, exhale. Inhale, reach up, exhale. Lift the heart, inhale, exhale, fold, step your left foot, or right foot back, sorry. Left foot is front, right foot is back, inhale, coming up. Exhale, bend your elbows, palms forward, and then open, lift the shoulders, roll them back, lift the heart. Arms down by your sides. Shoulders lift and roll back once again, palms face forward. Step onto your left foot and lift, open. Lift the toes just off the floor. Feet together, shoulders up, inhale. Let them drop, exhale. Pausing for a moment in Tadasana. Try a different balance pose now. So come up onto your toes. Pull your arms back like we just did. Now if you can, tilt forward a little bit. So gaze toward the floor, soaring bird. Release, relax. We'll do that again. So palms face forward. Come up onto your toes, pull the arms back a little bit if you can, tilt forward just slightly, and look toward the floor. Release, relax. Let's do that one more time. 
palms face forward, up on the toes, modify as needed, tilting forward, or you can just stay on the toes. Sometimes that's enough of a balanced challenge. And release, relax for a moment. And just give your legs a shake. Bring your right knee up, circle the ankle, reverse the direction. And switch sides, left knee up, circle, reverse. And take an inhale, reach up, exhale. Lift the heart, inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold, step your left foot back and come up. Take an inhale, exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, reach up, temple hands. Then exhale, interlace your hands, press your hands forward, bring your head between your arms. Inhale, straighten out, fingers point up. Exhale, press the hands forward, round the back. Inhale, if you feel too unsteady, just hold the position here. Exhale, inhale, reach. Exhale, rounding the upper back, press the hands forward. Inhale, reach up. On your exhale, now step onto your right foot, lift your back leg, warrior three. Feet together, inhale, exhale. Take a breath. Or two. Reaching up, inhale, exhale. Lift the heart, inhale, exhale. Fold, right foot back. Come up, inhale. Exhale, hands to the heart. So if the movement in this lunge feels too unsteady for you, you can just stay here or you can just stay in this position with the arms up if that feels better. So inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, press your hands forward, head between the arms. Inhale, reach up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Reaching up on your inhale, on your exhale, step onto your left foot, lift the right leg if you can. Uh, feet together, inhale, exhale, release. Pause, breathe, a couple of breaths here. Take an inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend your knees, press your hands forward, inhale, hands behind the head, exhale. If you find here that you're pressing on your head or that doesn't feel comfortable, that's okay, you don't have to go there. Fingertips behind the ears or just keep your hands at your heart. Straighten out, take an inhale, lift your heart, a little bit of a back bend, exhale, come to a neutral spine, take an inhale, exhale to the right. You can change the arms if you like, inhale, Exhale to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist right. Keep the elbows pressing back. Center, inhale. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Press your hands up. Exhale, release. Shoulders up. Inhale. Let them drop. Exhale. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, reach up. Bend your knees. Exhale. Inhale, press your hands forward. Hands behind the head, exhale. Inhale, straighten out, lift your heart. A little bit of a back bend. Exhale, come to a neutral spine, stay there. Inhale, to the right, exhale. Center, inhale, left, exhale. Inhale, center, exhale, twist. Keep your feet flat. Inhale, center, exhale to the left. Inhale, come to center, press your hands up. Exhale, lower your arms, relax. Take a breath here. Eyes closed or open. And inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Lifting the heart, inhale. Exhale, fold, step your left foot back, drop your knee down to the mat. So come into a low lunge, make sure the front knee is over the ankle. Come up so the hands are on the knee. And you can stay right there or hands behind the head. 
So once again, you're lifting your heart here. If you'd like to go a little bit further, take your arms up and back into crescent lunge. Inhale, exhale, hands down to the mat, shift back, untuck your toes, lift the front toes, take an inhale here, exhale, come forward. Bring your right foot back down to the mat, tuck your toes, lift your back knee, step back into down dog. And then come to the top of your mat. Inhale to lift the heart. Exhale, fold. Come up on your inhale. Hands to the heart. Exhale. Inhale. Folding forward. Exhale. Inhale, lifting the heart. Exhale, fold right foot back. Drop the knee. Take your time to set up. So front knee over the ankle. Make sure that you're in your lunge. Step by step, so no rush. Hands to the knee to start with. You're welcome to stay there, or hands can come behind the head. Press your head just gently into your hands and open up the elbows. And you can stay there, or the arms can go up and back a little bit, crescent lunge. And inhale, exhale, hands down, shift back, lift the toes, inhale, exhale. Left foot back to the mat, step back into down dog. From here, take your left knee down to the mat. So your right leg is extended. Make sure that your left wrist is under your shoulder. Open up to the side. Right arm straight up. Lift your right leg. I'll just turn sideways here. So lift your right leg. And you can stay there, or you can bend the right knee. Hold on to your ankle, but then push your foot into your hand. So you're feeling this again in the chest and the shoulder. It's so a little bit of a back bend. You don't have to go there if you don't want to. Extend leg and arm. Take your hand back down and then just come into triple pose. So with the left right knee back down on the floor. And then from here, extend your left leg out behind you. Open up. Lift your left leg. Stay there if you like or the foot can even stay on the floor. Or you can bend your knee, press your foot into your hand, and come into half bone. Release, extend the arm, extend the leg, take your foot down, and take your hand and your knee down. Big toes touch, knees out wide, wide knee child's pose. to seated. So we'll sit cross leg once again. If you'd like to sit on your prop, go ahead. Right leg in front. Open up your arms. Inhale. Exhale. Right arm under. Eagle arms if you're able to. If you can't get to eagle arms, you can just modify. Hands can just stay together at your heart. If you're an eagle arm, see if you can gently circle a couple of times in each direction. And then back to center. Take your elbows a little bit higher for a moment if you can. And then if it's available to you, take your arms a little bit to the right and turn your head to the left. So 
slowly straighten out, come back to center, release your eagle arms, hands to the knees for a moment, close your eyes. Switch sides, left leg in front, arms open, inhale, left arm under on your exhale, and little circles if you can, switch direction, and take the elbows a little bit higher if you're able to, elbows left, head right if you can. to center, release your arms, hands to the knees, close your eyes, take a breath or two here. Extend your legs. Right leg out on a little bit of an angle, left foot into the right inner thigh. On your inhale, reach straight in front of you, lift up out of your hips, turn to the right, Exhale, come forward. Inhale, reach and lift. Exhale, release. And again, inhale, use your breath, lift, turn, exhale. Inhale, reach. Exhale, one more time, we'll hold. Inhale, reach forward, lift, turn, exhale, hold here. Remember, it's how you do your pose that makes a big difference here. So it's not about reaching your foot. It's about how you're doing this pose. So your leg is straight and you're lifting up out of the hips, leading with the chest, coming forward with a nice long spine. So it's better to be back here, reaching the chest forward, than to be reaching for the foot, but rounding your back or bending your knee. So technique is important. Bring your hands back. Switch sides, the left leg goes out a little bit, right foot into the left inner thigh. Inhale, straight in front of you, lift up, turn, exhale. Reach and lift, inhale, exhale. Inhale, reach, turn, exhale. Inhale, reach, exhale. One more time. Inhale, reach, lift. Turn left, exhale, come forward and hold. Walk your hands back, both legs out in front. Legs straight, inhale, reach forward, lift, exhale. Inhale, reach, lift. Exhale, one more time, we'll hold the third one. Inhale, reach, lift. Exhale, come forward and hold. back, bend your knees, hold on to a wrist, pull yourself forward. Keep your right knee bent, extend your left leg, so your right foot is on the inside of your left leg, right hand goes back, take an inhale, exhale, twist. to center, extend your right leg, bend your left knee, left hand back, take an inhale, exhale, twist. Back to 
center, extending your left leg. Bend your right knee this time, cross it over, but keep your heel below your left knee. So your foot is quite low here. Take an inhale, exhale, twist. to center, switching sides, bend your left knee, cross your foot over, left hand back, inhale, exhale, twist. Come back to center, extending your left leg, Bend your right knee and cross it over once again. So you can do that same thing, just taking your right hand back behind you and twisting left hand on the, on the leg. Or for a little bit deeper twist, inhale, reach your arms up, exhale, twist. Left arm goes to the outside of the right leg, left hand can go with the right ankle here if you're able to. Come to center, switch sides, left foot over. Take an inhale if you like, reach up, lengthen, exhale, twist. Left arm goes back, right hand can reach for the left ankle here if you're able to. Center, extend your left leg, and your legs a shake. Finish with a seated relaxation today. So find a comfortable position, sitting cross leg or half lotus or lotus if that's in your practice, sitting on a prop if you like, extend your legs. If you'd really prefer to be on your back, that's perfectly fine. But sometimes it's nice to change it up a little bit and do our relaxation in a seated position instead. So find your position, close your eyes. Take a moment to notice your breath. So just like we did at the beginning, as you breathe in, think breathing in. And as you breathe out, think breathing out. Inhale, breathing in. Exhale, breathing out. Do that for a few rounds. And then if you feel settled, if your mind feels settled, you can just let that go.
nice deep inhale, bring your breath all the way down deep into the lungs. And exhale. And again, deep inhale. And exhale. Hands together at your heart. Take a few breaths. Notice how you feel after your yoga practice. So most often we end our practice with Shavasana on our backs, but every now and then it's okay to change it up, do something a little bit different, maybe step out of your comfort zone a little bit, do something that you're not expecting. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste.